everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. So we're doing something a little bit different tonight. Um, we've, I've got Rob to make a new, uh, not a new cake, but basically we've got these new cake pans in. I've told you about them already. And uh, while Rob and Jackie were here, I asked him would they use one of these pans. So this is the gold elegant party pan made by Nordic Ware. They're amazing pans. Anybody who knows me knows I am a massive fan. And I am so lucky because Rob is equally a massive fan. You have a good collection, oh, don't yeah. you? <laughs> and I, I'm flooded along. <laughs> <laughs> but we love them. 10 year guarantee, lifetime guarantee, that's what they call them. This one is a bunk pan, and that's because it's got this bit in the middle. You can do amazing things with them, and Rob has made loads and loads of these types of cakes, okay? So while he was here, I sort of threw it on him and said, look Rob, I know you're making chocolate eclairs tonight, and I know Jackie, you're making a giant cupcake, but why are you here, can you make this? So uh, they always like the challenge. So we're gonna do this live now, so that we can put it in the oven, so when we come back at eight o'clock, and we do the whole live, we can pull this out of the oven and have a slice. How about that? Does that sound good? Sound good to me. And then we can scoff it straight afterwards. <laughs> so that's what we want to do. So um, Jackie and I are going to get out of the way. We're going to get Rob to go through the recipe, okay? Tell you about fruits and things like that. And the recipe is on the website. So the recipe website is sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.co.uk or .com, whichever you prefer. If you can't remember that, just go to Google and type in sugar and crumbs recipe. That will take you through to the website. Um, and if you can't find that, go to our website page, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, and along the top where it's got home, shop, celebrations, it has recipe, yeah? Pop into there and that will take you straight through to our recipe website. So loads of ways. Now, the one thing you need to know is what cake are we making? And I can never get the words right, so I'm not even going to bother to attempt it. Rob. Right, the cake what we're making, it's a barra brith, which is a fruit loaf. The fruit soaked in tea, pre-soaked in tea, for 24 hours. So it plumps it all up, and it's from a uh, recipe from Claire Clark's 80 Cakes. Amazing recipe. You can eat it with a cup of tea, or you can have it nice. It's butter, butter it, butter a slice of it, and eat it that way too. And we're going to have it hot tonight. They do, they do say it tastes even nicer after about three or four days, but the I fruit yet it's been soaking them. overnight. Yeah. So we've got the fruit soaking overnight. So what we're going to do is I'm going to wash my hands because Rob's greased that pan, pan and I've now got grease all over my hands. So I'm going to wash my hands, get out of the way, and we've got John on the camera. Okay. Hello. <laughs> we've got Maria and Shelley in the kitchen, and they're here early tonight because they've got to be back for our 8 o'clock live. So this is a quick 15, 20 minutes, so we can make it, get it in the oven, you lot can get back, finishing off what you do, and then get comfy on that settee for when these two, two, these two come back later. So I'll get out of your way. Oh, hello, St. John. I've got an audience growing. How's it doing? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> hi, everyone. But they're all thinking, what's going on here? And how should we go, hi, everyone? <laughs> we got to hands. So, Barra Brith. It's a Welsh recipe. As I said, it's from Claire Clark's 80 Cakes. It's just a fruit tea loaf. And that's crisp. All your fruit. What it is, you can mix and match your fruits. You don't have to use the specific fruits within the recipe. But... Uh, normally it is around about 200 grams of raisins, 100 grams of sultanas, you have 50 grams of currants, 100 grams of glacier cherries, wash them under your water, dry them off with some kitchen paper, chop them into chunks, add them into it. Why do you wash them in water, Rob? Uh, because the glacier cherries come in the syrup. No, yeah. I, I don't because I like the syrup. Yeah, I was going to say I don't wash them, but you like to wash yeah. them. Yeah. It depends what kind of cake you're making because yeah. some of them will wash them, then they roll them in flour because if you put them That's in you other put... cakes, it stops the cherry sinking ah. in the bottom of the cake. Well, this is a thick mix, so yes. it shouldn't make any difference. It's quite a dry mix when it's mixed up. You can use apricots. I haven't put any apricots in this one this evening. And then what you do with it is 300 millilitres of strong tea, so two tea bags in your cup or jug, make it at 300 millilitres and pour it over the top of your fruit, cover it with cling film, leave it all night, and it absorbs a lot of the liquid. That's, the liquid was actually covering the top of that fruit when I started it. It's absorbed a lot of the liquid. The liquid, what's left, actually goes into your cake mix too. So, what you start with, with this one, it's quite an easy thing to do. Okay, so... I'm quite looking forward to you making this cake. Yeah, You're so good. good, aren't you? It's my fit, my So, husband's can I just tell you guys, they weren't making this. It's only because we've got these pans, and they saw them when they were here in the last live, 
and uh, I've sort of thrown it on them to make one. We like to put Rob up for the challenge, don't we Rob Love? So what I do, the flour, which is 450 grams, add 170 grams of uh, soft brown sugar. In there I've got one teaspoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of mixed spices. Yeah. You can add little or more to your own taste. That just goes in there. It is um, a good cake for messing about with. Yeah, the I don't think I've heard of it. I mean, I put a full full lot of cherries in mine, you know, a full packet of cherries. <gasps> because I don't put apricots in, because we make right. it all mixed with them peel, mm. you know. And mine myself, what I like to do with it, I like to add nuts in mine as well. Mm. So that, first of all, just sit that into a bowl. So how do you say it again? Barra Brith. Go on, Maria. Sleep tonight, won't you? Barra Brith. Yeah, And you, Shelley? Barra Brith. Hey. Mm -hmm. John? Oh, sorry. <laughs> are you not paying attention? Are you, doing, are, you, are you sure you're with us, John? I am. <laughs> Barra Brith. So we've got John in the kitchen. You know how communicative he is. How's the audience doing, John? Are we doing yeah, okay? Yeah, very good, very good. The recipe is up on the website, okay? Sugar and crumbs mixing it up, .co.uk or .com, whichever you prefer. A lot of people, well, even in Claire's book, she actually does it in a, a loaf tin. So mm. she, that's how it's usually done. But um, I tried it in the bun and it worked lovely. But so I think this bun's perfect. Yeah, because yeah. when we slice it up, all these lovely nice slices yeah. all nicely evenly done. I can't wait. So that's all saved. Empty bowl. Okay, well in the centre. What camera are we on, John? We're on the menu here. Alright, oh, okay. Are we ready for that one? Yes. So you haul your fruit and your tea, what's left. And you've soaked that overnight, haven't oh, you? Yeah, in yeah. tea. Strong tea, so we've got two, tea. two tea bags to 300 millilitres of water. Any particular type of tea? I'm an Earl Grey girl. So that will flavour your cake. PG. To me, it would be PG tips. No, PG. I, I, I put four tea bags and I do tetlers. Oh, really? Right. That's what I said. I've got, I've got some. Uh, do you think you'd work with green tea? Don't know. Different teas, different tea flavours. Yeah. You use matcha. And Worth going to go, isn't it? So your fruit goes in there, and into that, you want two tablespoons of marmalade. Mm -hmm. Goes in. And I love your throw it in attitude, Rob. <laughs> this is a throw it in cake though. There's not really much else you can do. Well, there's no chance of us in there, is there? One egg and I want a spoon. Are you laughing, Maria? <laughs> I think the same. You'll be getting it all in your face now. And then that's it. It just all gets bound together. Just don't be worried, it is quite a dry mix. For such an easy cake, it's such a tasty cake. Mm. You know what I mean? It's really. It reminds me of your Christmas cake. Yeah, yes. yes. You could yeah. actually use it as a Christmas cake, mm. I should imagine. So, um, at what temperatures does this have to go on in the 150, oven? 150 uh, centigrade. Yeah, fan how oven. long for? Sorry? How long for? It'll go in for an hour and ten minutes. I thought it was an hour and a half. Sorry, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll do. Hour and a half. At least an hour and a half. An hour and a half, then try it with a cake tester. Yeah. See? Bunt. Most of the bunt is now in 10 minutes. Yeah. Look how easy this is. You don't even need a food mixer, guys. This is a cake. This is very that's, much like the Christmas cake, wasn't it? You dry mix. Put it all in. That's it. Yeah. Everything in. All in one. Like Rob said, most bunts are about an hour and 10, but mm. I did it a few weeks ago for the first time. And um, I actually did it, like the recipe, everything was the same. And even Claire said she was glad how it worked for the bunt as well as it does. And then you want a well greased bunt in. So these bunt tins are made by Nordic Ware. So while Rob's filling this up, um, they're made by Nordic Ware. They have a lifetime guarantee. They're fabulous. They've started bringing them out in gold. 
and a rose gold colour and other colours, but not all the pans. This particular one is in gold. Um, it's a lovely pan. We, I absolutely love it. I love it. I've got it in stainless, uh, not stainless steel, in the cast aluminium, cast aluminium uh, colour as well. And that's what we're using tonight. Free delivery on this if you want to buy this. Um, it's forty nine ninety nine, I think it is, or forty eight ninety nine, and that includes free delivery. You will love it. And if I can get Rob down making a few more different ones, because we've been talking about ideas of ones that we can make in the bunt tins. I've actually um, done also in yeah. these done bread in, bread in them. Have you done bread in them? Bread bunt. Have you? <laughs> bread bunt. So, and then we've been talking to Rob and Jackie about getting them down to do a bread session. So maybe we should do that then, include it then. Mm. I did monkey bread in it. I've never heard of monkey bread. Oh. It's it monkey bread. Sweet. It, it's very. It's, it yeah. takes a while to do, but what you do is you make it like a make you it, a bread dough. Yeah. Make a bread dough, and you um, roll it in like um, all your spices, and then you. I did an um, Cadbury's caramel, uh, yeah. not caramel, Cadbury's chocolate spread one, and you pour lumps of it in. You roll the bread dough into balls, yeah. and you put them all over, and then when it comes out, you just it's like a tear and share, but uh -huh. it's. I've never heard of it. Have you heard of one, gorgeous. John? Gorgeous. No. Yeah, never heard of it. The kids no. loved it. Keep talking, you'll be making one next time, Maria. <laughs> Remember that, Maria. Remember that. We want the monkey bread. Do it in the corner. I like the idea of Terrigere, chocolate in it. <laughs> and then you can see Maria's ears pick up then. Yeah. <laughs> just level that off. And then that's going to go in a preheated oven, 150 degrees centigrade fan, and that'll go in the oven for one hour and a half. Wow, fantastic. Okay. Oh, well, then about. So that, that can go in the oven a bit later. Where yeah, once it's yeah. prepared, we get, we clean up, get everything cleaned up. So we've got the oven prepared, ready, Rob? Here we go. No, we'll put it in a bit later. Then it's ready, yeah. to, come clean ready, to, come out, ready to come out at the end of the next line. Ah, uh, right, okay then, no problems. Right, so everybody, we've just quickly shown you this because we want to make sure, we're going live at 8 o'clock tonight, and we want to make sure when we come to the end of this live, we'll be taking it out, ready for you to try. Okay, that's where we are with it. And uh, we'll see you then at eight o'clock. So, you haven't got long. Go and get yourself all nice and comfy. Okay, actually. We'll be back in for about 45 minutes. Yeah, go and have a wee. Have a cup of tea. Get yourself comfy. It's going to be a great night. I don't actually know what's even going to happen tonight. But it's going to be a great night. <laughs> see you soon. Bye. Bye. Come on, Rob. Bye, Bye. Jackie. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Now, I've got a froggy throat still. It's been going on for a few weeks, so it's Jackie. Yeah. you still got yours from a few oh, weeks yeah. ago, haven't you? Just, just stay with me. It's not Promise you, anywhere. she hasn't been kissing me. No. <laughs> I said you wouldn't mention it. So, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. So, we have got the baking nana back in the kitchen. Also, Rob Allen, where is he? Come here. Me? So, here he is, <laughs> back in the kitchen. And we also have on camera, John, can you believe it? Hi, John. Hello. Hi, everyone. Can you believe it? Laura can't be here tonight. So we've got John in the kitchen. We've also got Maria in the kitchen and Shelley, our new recruit. Hi, girls. Hi. <laughs> so um, the girls are going to be bobbing around as per usual. As you know, Shelley is still on training. She's learning to make videos with Maria. So you will see them both hovering around. Um, we're not sure what we're making tonight. It's been very confusing. I've actually confused the whole thing. Yes, yes. So Rob and Jackie are just going to go with it. Yeah. Okay. So we're making an Easter giant cupcake. Yeah. Okay. We're making shoe pastry eclairs. Shoe pastry, chocolate yeah. eclairs. And what else are we making? A uh, barra bread. A barra bread. A barra bread. Okay. I don't know what one of those is. But I'm looking for nice. it's in the oven. So, and it smells great in this room. It smells really good. Maria and Shelley came in before and we're like, wow. So, John, do you want to tell us, um, is anybody joining us so far? Yeah, crowd's building well. <laughs> Short and sweet. <laughs> He's a man tell, of many words. You can tell John's on the camera, can't you? Come on, John, with the enthusiasm. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> So, anyhow, so as per usual, what this is is actually a bacon session. We did one a few weeks ago with Jackie and Rob in the kitchen, and they made fabulous apple pies. Rob was here making the apple pies. Jackie was, what did you make, Jackie? I can't remember. Uh, Swiss roll. Swiss roll, yeah. And I think, it? I think it was, was it peanut butter and banana bun or something? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I forgot, because it always tasted good. And Maria scoffs a lot, and Shelley <laughs> has started taking it home for her family as well. So it was always so good when they're in the kitchen as well. 
So, um, so we're making plenty of things tonight. If there's anything you want, we're using all the sugar and crumbs flavors. So what you can go do is go to our, our website, which is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And as you go along the top, there's Facebook Live. Drop into the Facebook Live, down to Jackie and Rob, and you'll see everything that they're using tonight. So if you want to buy, it's called a wish list. If there's anything you want to buy, you can buy that. Besides us. Besides, yeah, no, they're not for sale. No, they're not about Rob. Yeah. <laughs> Should we put more up? I'm already Rob? negotiating for when they're coming back. <laughs> um, also, new arrivals, do pop into the shop, drop down to new arrivals. There's loads of things in new arrivals. And um, we're hoping in a few weeks that we're going to get Rob back. And um, if we're lucky, maybe Jackie as well, so. because we've been discussing talking bread. Mm -hmm. Now, that's what we want them to do. We want to get them to show us how to make bread. So we're going to be looking for them to do that. But never mind, what we're going to do is we're going to get on with tonight's live. And Jackie is up first. Are you ready? Yes, 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 yes. So we'll get out of the way and let you crack right. on. Seeing so many getting a bit aerated doing the giant cupcakes. I'm going to show you how to make one first. And then um, when Rob's done a bit of his, I'll come back and decorate one for you. So yeah. um, I, I, I know a few of you have seen me do a giant cupcake before and I always do mine slightly different from everyone else. You, normally you cream your sugar and your butter together, but I always do my sugar and eggs first. So I'm using um, the vanilla, vanilla? Or use the velvet vanilla. Velvet vanilla, yeah. So yeah. I'll put this in first. So. Guys, when you're uh -huh. using um, sugar in any recipe, go on, you carry on, Jackie. Yeah. When you're using sugar in any recipe, you can use flavoured icing sugar if you want to. So if you want to substitute your caster sugar, you can change it from caster sugar to icing sugar. Uh, Jackie is using the flavoured icing sugar. She's using velvet vanilla, which means she doesn't have to add any extra additional flavouring. It also makes a much silkier mix, doesn't it, Jackie? We're not plugged in. Are we having camera trouble? We're not plugged in. We're well, upside we're, down, I we think. We're upside down and round. Is that you, Shelley Love? That was Shelley Love. See, this is what happens when they're new. <laughs> and we're all sorry, no, no. Shelley's about to go under any minute. I'm, I'm and we, wasn't, we wasn't plugged <laughs> you in, You've got a lovely right? pink face there, Shelley. Come on, we'll oh, show my lovely pink face. You <laughs> were you all looking upside down then? Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, were they looking upside down then, John, for a minute? You'll also notice we're down this side of the kitchen and I am rigging boiling because Rob's got a cake in the oven and I've actually got a cake in the oven. Nothing to do with this live, but I need to bake a cake for somebody. So I've got one in, so the ovens are going full blast. Can you feel how hot it is? I'm trying to turn some, put something on that's not turned on. <laughs> Do you know, it does make, they give me these new, new <laughs> machines to work, but they don't tell me how to work then. I will tell you that this is a Shelly and Maria malfunction. So going back to the flavoured icing sugar, Jackie is using that in the recipe and she's using that instead of caster sugar. Yeah. So, crack on. So in this mix we've got 12 ounces of um, sugar, the icing sugar, and we've got 6 eggs. So I'm just going to give that a, a whistle. is uh, 12 ounces of stock. Carol will be piercing in the car. Well, she yeah, does use it. You do make use of stock. stock for baking, yeah. Yeah, stock for baking. It's a bit later when I make me um, butter cream, star cream, she'll be familiar with that. that down. <laughs> so, John, how are we doing with our audience now? Are we building up nicely? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got lots of people. I just love John on the camera. Yeah, okay. Don't you just love John on the camera there? Uh, he's yeah. the most enthusiastic cameraman there is. So, <laughs> I'm the only cameraman you've got. Oh, yeah. And there's a fancy light there, Jackie. Rub over the top. Oh, I know, yeah, it's cute. Yeah. That. <laughs> I don't know how to use it, but I can play with that light. <laughs> I'll get there, don't worry. Right, so we just added 12 ounces of stock. So, all the recipes, guys, I know that you're asking for the recipe. The recipe will be on, well, it is actually on the Sugar and Crumbs website, ready. So all you need to do is search for giant cupcake and the 
recipe wraps up is I'm going to get John to shout it out because I've got a husky voice. It's www.sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com. Com. <laughs> .co .uk. You can use either. Right, now we've got 12 ounces of uh, self raising flowers going in. She said. Right in a minute. It's a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> you have to turn it off and turn it back on again. Turn it to zero right. and turn it right That on. might be what I'm doing wrong then. You keep turning the light off at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> we I should have used me. I'm like right. assistance with our mix up. <laughs> right, it's flashy. What does that mean? No idea, Jackie. No idea. It wasn't flashing before. I think you press the button in and then back off again. Yeah. So let's go back. Yay! Turn it all off. Thank God for that. I've already got a sore throat and I've already got. That's what happens when you get the newfangled dangle of machines. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> So we're using the Wilton um, cupcake pan today and you've just got to make sure that you um, oil the pan so it doesn't stick. I have to say I'd rather, I like the spray the best to be honest. I get a bit heavy handed with things me. When you're doing these, you really need to make sure you get into all the crevices when you're doing them. Otherwise they'll stick. I love the giant cupcake. Oh. I, I, I do. It's my thing, isn't it? I've always... It's my... Cause I, I it's like, like your it. signature dish, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, they're so... You can do so much with them. I mean, I've been making them now. I was thinking the other day, it must be five, six years. Yeah. You've made a few here in your time as and, well, haven't you? And you know what? I don't think I've made two exactly the same yet. No. And that's mad for the amount that I make as well. I remember the first one that you made. It was a pina colada one. Oh, yeah. With the, yeah, that was good, that one. The straw <laughs> sticking out and everything. Ray's really quite good at the old baking, you know. I know. We need to awesome. get her on the live. We do. Really. I know her and Laura. Come and do, come and do one with me, and Laura. John, can you pass me my cup of tea, please? All right. So all you need to do now is to divide this between the two pounds. We need to do our first session in German. <laughs> <laughs> don't yes. ask me. I can't even work the machines. So don't ask me to do it in German. Maria, Maria and I are learning German because we're off to a show in Dortmund. Yeah. Very soon. Yeah, yeah. You are. So go on then, what, what, how do you say hello, John? Hello. <laughs> yes. He's going to get so far. How do you right? say good afternoon, Maria? Uh, well, we don't have a good afternoon. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Is that good now? No, that's good afternoon. It's a good day, really. Uh, I said all they need is hello, goodbye, where's the toilet? What more do you need than this? <laughs> so this cupcake is for Easter, isn't it, Jackie? This is an Easter one, yeah. yeah. And what I've done is I've used... Um, because I like to make my own chocolates, don't I? Most people yeah. know that. Um, but what I've done is I've bought stuff out of it, you know, that you get, everyone could buy as well to decorate it. So you'd be able to do more or less the same thing. Yeah. So um, so this cupcake, giant cupcake, is for Easter. And um, in a couple of weeks, we're all going to Germany. That's John, myself, Laura, and Maria, two of the girl sh girl, uh, showgirls, as we call them, <laughs> uh, Adele and Charlotte. They get the fancy title showgirls. And John and uh, Maria have been nominated to learn a little bit of German. As I struggle to speak English, I've decided to opt out. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> right, now, if I was at home, this would go in the oven um, on 160 fan for about an hour. But we've made one today here, and Carol's oven's quite hotter than mine. Yeah. And you'll see it later, it's a bit brown. So this is what... We like people to know that every when you when you, someone says oh put it on 140 or 160 or whatever, you need to check your oven because it might be higher, it might be lower. So you can't go on going oh well it was 
half cooked you know you told me it was 25 minutes on this and it's half cooked you need to do a tester in your oven so this one's going in on 140 in carols for about yeah. an hour and yes. just one minute are you got a tray to put that on haven't you um yeah just let me yeah. sort out the other moment jackie oh it can go in can it go in later because we've got another one yeah but no i'll stick it in there right yeah. now. Yeah. So, just one second i'll put mine down here Sorry guys, I'm nicking the oven because I'm making something for somebody. Oh. And I didn't think about Jack in hairs. Come on, Jackie, yours can go in now. Super duper. Yeah. There we go. So just keep them in time, yeah. Okay. Right, brilliant. Right. So then, so, so I'm just walking off. Well, I'll, just get rid of, I'll just get rid of my stuff and then Rob can come over. So you'll see that we're all down this side of the kitchen today, so you're going to see everything. Yeah. You're going to see all the mess. You're going to see Chucky washing up now yeah. while Rob gets on with what he's doing. So come on, Rob. <laughs> you're over here. Is there anything else you need? Um, I think I've got to and do you need the mixer? Do you no. Need... No. And we're going to be using the hob. So the girls will be flipping out over there. So we'll just get Jackie to move her stuff out of the way because we know Rob's going to need the hob. Really rapid. I think everything we moved. Just take that one. Yeah, that one. So I'm just going to move your stuff over here, Jackie. Yeah, we can wash all that. Super. May I keep my shop? You can. Right? Keep it on that side though. As long as you dry it. Right, Rob. Come on then. Okay. So, two pastry eclairs. So John, you're looking at. Ren right. John lets us know that he's in the kitchen with us. John. Right. How's it going on camera? It's going very well, <laughs> very well. We love having John in the kitchen, don't we? Uh, doesn't speak, doesn't say anything, just uses sign language. So Rob, welcome to the kitchen and you're making chocolate eclairs, aren't you? I am. And you're going to show us how to make the shoe pastry? Oh, a lot of people stress over shoe pastry. I do. not try it and it's just so easy to make. Good, well so, we can't wait. Uh, some of the recipes I use slightly different. It's 120 ml, some of them will say 120 millilitres of water, but I use 60 of water, 60 of milk. You get a bit of colour on your shoe pastry. If you're wondering why Jack Rob isn't knowing who sure he's looking at, he's talking to me and I'm pointing to him to look at John. So I'm going to get John to stand up so he can be talking so to that John. That goes in there along with 50 grams of butter diced. Super. Okay, that then has two tablespoons of, and this time I'm using salted caramel. Oh, right. Icing sugar, just to flavor the shoe. We like that. Okay, and then it opens to the hob. Yeah. Now it's electric hob. Have you ever tried that today, Rob? Mm -hmm. How it goes on? Uh, Ray, do you know how it goes on? Front right. Front right. Are we on? The water, the we water, are. the milk, the butter, and the flavoured icing sugar all goes in at once. Put on a gentle heat to stir it till the butter melts. Mm -hmm. Will you keep stirring that in? And do you need Jackie to stir it for you and keep flipping that around while you're doing Yeah, uh, so there's not, nothing else I can do. This is done. And then the flour needs. 65 grams of plain flour, sifted ready to go into the mix. Is it an induction one? What, the hog? Yeah. No, I think it's just an electric normal, what is it? Ceramic hog, isn't it? I had to, I go, had to, go, to, I had to go to my daughter's, I do. We go to her house because it's bigger for Christmas dinner. But I cook the dinner. And they just moved out and it was an induction hob. Is that the one where they, they've got the uh, extractor fan? Where you have to have a you know, special pan special special yeah. yeah. And the thing is, is they get a tiny little bit of water on them. So if you're bubbling up your veg, I didn't know you needed to put your lid on and keep them low and bubble. So I had mine bubbling like I normally do. Everything went off. <laughs> Half an hour, we had to wait for it to come back on. But then you have to totally clean it before you can use it again. <laughs> So how are we doing, Rob? Just wait for it to melt. Just wait for it to melt. I'll turn the temperature up a little. Um, I have put out this mat here 
I'll just show them this mat. Mm -hmm. I have put out this mat here. It's a silicone mat. Now Rob's not going to use this tonight. He's actually going to use his own pan that he prefers to use. But for those of us who can't measure out properly, um, or don't want to, or we feel we need some guidance, we do sell these. They are made by Baco Glide, and this is the Baco shoe mat, okay? And you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen. They can go in the oven, they're perfect. So, uh, but then you're going to see the way Rob's going to do it in his pan. You're just going to pipe them on. I'm just piping directly under a tree. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have one in my house. Well, some people are good like you, they can do it. Others of us, we need to... A bit like me. Yeah, I was going to say, you use this, didn't you? Uh, yeah, because yeah. I... I like, I think you look too small. Yes. And then they come out of the oven and they're like that. Giant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not anyone complains, but. Yeah. <laughs> so once you've stored that, and it's just about to melt the bear, just keep the heat on. You want it just to go to a rapid boil. You want to roll and boil on there first of all. Yeah. And as soon as the roll and boil, remove it from the heat. Well, that mix together in a minute. So those lumps of butter are they? Yes, they're what? But you did your heat, you know what then? Yeah. That's the button at the end. Give it a minute, just when it comes up for a roll and boil. Who are you looking at there, John? You're on camera. Oh, am I? Hi. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> There's a show bill for a minute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are we on now, John? We're back on the van. <laughs> <coughs> oh, this is where the shoe starts now, isn't it? Do you have to wait for it to bubble? Yeah. You just want to like, see those bubbles around the side? In the middle of the pan, you get just a little rolling bubble. Yeah. And once you have that, remove the pan from the heat, put your flow in, otherwise it starts to evaporate and loses the liquid content. Ah, right, okay. So, so it's not quite a boil. So like we're, a... we're patiently waiting for that bubble. Is this one of those things where it's like, oh, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. Can you see it, John? Yes, can yes, we can. Yeah. Which one do you want to do? Wait a bit more. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? I was going to say it was like watching paint dry this, but that's actually quite good. Cool. Look at that. Yeah, but it's when it comes so, together, it's dead good. How hard do we go? That will do for that. That will do. Right. right. So. I want that in there, and while it's in there. Right, can we, what can we see on the camera there? We can see. Can we, uh, Block. Can we, can we, where, what can we get on the camera? Let me get this on. I'll get this on. Right. Oh, it's through the star. Quite messy. It's going to come together. Oh, you can see it's smoothing out now. I'm going to come together. I thought we were going to have a big lump then. I'm going to get it in a fluffy ball like that. Yeah. And then... Put it back on again. Oh, it's just a low heat. Yeah. And for a minute or so, just keep stirring it, trickle the wheel. Yeah. Tom Marie has got the wobbles here. <laughs> I feel like that when you're making it, because your hands feel like Yeah. I'm dizzy. <laughs> this is one of those things you've got to react straight away. It's not yeah. something you just leave and put to one side, is it? And then once this is done, after a minute or so, you can put it into a board and level the kiln before you start adding beaten eggs in. Oh, right. So yeah. Yeah. I thought that was it, done. Yeah. No, there's a lot more to do yet. You need so to let two, two. Two green eggs. Yeah, you've got the eggs in. You put the eggs in now, though. So, oh, yes, we'll get a boiled egg mix. So, do you want to get your hole out? You want to make a metal or a plastic hole? Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that should suffice. When you're ready, I'll just bring it over here. I'll bring it over. Does it have to go back on the heat again? Just no, no, that's it now. Just need to keep it. Wow. Needing to be touch warm. Ah, right. Anything above that, can you add it? Super. That goes wow. <laughs> In there, it would be fine. Uh, Rob, we're on this camera yeah, here. We could, uh, yeah. Should we go on this camera Yeah, here? perfect. That's perfect. perfect. Just there. Okay. So let's so. just let everybody have a look at that. Let me really get a picture. So that we've got the right consistency. Well, when I first tip it out, two seconds, so I've rested it up. He likes like making a pretty pattern. <laughs> and then, what you need, you need it to cool. Yeah. How long does it take to cool? Uh, what I tend to do is push it around the bowl like that, rather than leave it in one crumb. Yeah. 
and five, ten minutes or so to cool down a little. It's too hot, it'll just scramble your eggs if you put your eggs into that. Right. So we'll just go wait until that's cool. Great. Yeah. So then we've got those ones you made earlier, haven't we? So do you want to move those out of the way? And I'll pass you these. I see that you've got a chef's treat there, Rob. Oh, there's always a chef's treat. Always there. a chef's treat. Oh, we won't Which chef is it? You or me? Who's getting this one? one? That one's for you. <laughs> so, Which one's mine? Well, didn't see you doing any chefing. So the one's for the bacon. stood next to the oven. <laughs> I'm assisting here. <laughs> one's for the bacon. We'll go into the oven. We'll bake. These were made last night and before I travelled down this morning. And then we just need to cut them open, fill them full of double cream, and then you need some chocolate for the top. Fantastic, good. Uh, so what are we going to do now? You need the mixing bowl? Back on the mixing bowl, do you? Uh, just another. And do you want a balloon whisk, was it? A balloon whisk if you've got one. I'll grab you a balloon whisk. I've, I've realised I forgot to get one out. So you get your bowl set up. I want your cream. Just a hand one, man. Oh, do you want to do a hand with the hand whisk? Yeah. And then, what did you say? I did. I said a balloon whisk. Balloon whisk. Oh, that's a balloon whisk. That do? That do. Sorry, I thought we were going all technical. Rob, know where you are, love. <laughs> this is where you get the John in the kitchen. It says now, he's too busy eyeing up what he's going to eat next. A lot of the time, you can't put a little bit of sugar or flavour ice cream sugar to flavour your cream. But because you've got sweet pasty, you're going to be putting double chocolate on the top. I don't want to uh, flavour the cream. So, guys, everything that we're making today, pop over to Sugar and Crumbs website, www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. On the, on the home page here, you'll see on the right hand side, Facebook Live's wish list. Drop down into this month's, okay, and go for Jackie, uh, well, Bacon Nana and Rob Allen. And you'll see everything that they've used in, in there today. Also, the recipes are on the website. Our website is called sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com or .co.uk, whichever you prefer. If you don't get that, all you need to do is go to Google and write sugar and crumbs recipes. It will bring you through to the recipe site and then go and put yourself into search. It's very easy to find. Or better still, get yourself out a bag of icing sugar out your cupboard and the recipe, is on the, the recipe website is on the back of every bag. Oh, I don't know. I got that out in one go. Don't you be kissing me again, Jackie. I tell you, I've had this for weeks. I had this last time you were here. <laughs> Eh? I just like spreading the dough. Yeah, crikey. Glad I don't get rid of you. Yeah, yeah, you're lucky you've got away with it, haven't you? Yeah, no. Must be, must be a Manchester thing. He's just throwing uh, cream all over his nice clean apron, Jackie. He's with me. So, let me tell you a little bit about these guys. In fact, John, do you want to explain what Jackie and Rob do for Twitter? Right. No, I'll do it. Do you want me to do it? Go for it, Jackie. Right, for those of you who don't know, me and Rob have been friends for quite a while and we both like Great British Bake Off. So one night I said to Rob, do you fancy um, getting together and doing some bakes off the Bake, bake Off Beat Week? And I said, should we ask somebody else, you know, other people if they want to join in? So we put out a tester a couple of weeks before it started and quite a few I'm gonna move this a little, joined us and baked along. So. What we, did, what we do is, when the Bake Off's on, we follow the challenges, so you've got the chance of baking. Can you there talk to the camera? Yeah, yeah. I think Rob's hugging the ball. You should have used my mixer, shouldn't you, Rob? No, you should have no. used my electric <laughs> <laughs> For a little fella, he's going to have the biggest muscles soon. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. 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 Yeah, so... Um, Quite a few joined in, so what we do is we follow the challenges when the Bake Off's on, on uh, telly and then the rest of the year we're just known as Twitter Bake Along 
and me and Rob pick challenges or if we have somebody who's donating um, they can pick a challenge uh, and then they give us a prize otherwise it's whatever me and Rob can muster up which is a good that's a good pay part we come to so the challenge this week that we're going to set you is anybody who makes the shoe pastry or the giant cupcake that Jackie is making so we'll set it up we'll set it up as a post for you and everybody's got until next week to either make the shoe pastry chocolate eclairs or the giant cupcake put in your um you tell them what they have to do Jackie with the all picture. you have to do is um bake whichever one you want to do take a picture get a little piece of paper write on the piece of paper twitter bake along and sugar and crumbs yeah. with a hashtag yeah you can do it on facebook uh instagram or twitter um if you're doing it on facebook please put it on the sugar and crumbs website uh web facebook page um otherwise me and rob will probably miss we'll try and work it out that we've got an actual yeah. post going along with yeah. that one because if we're not tagged in it we miss them yeah so and the prize will be 10 bags of icing sugar so you can choose whichever flavors you want so whoever the prize is that's drawn will win 10 flavoured bags of ice and sugar. Um, so do make sure, it's a, it's a great thing. So you can try any flavour that you want. Yeah. The flavours are delicious. You've been using our flavours for years oh, now. I mean, it's how we met, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. thinking it was a cake and bake show. Manchester. And it was, I was actually using, I don't remember, I, I messaged you because I'd never spoke to you before. Yeah. And you was doing a Valentine's special. Yeah. And you got a little mould in it. And I actually used it the other day on the wedding cake <laughs> that I did. And I thought, it must be five is it about five, five years? Yes. It was when we very first started. Yeah, yeah, I think it was our very yeah, first show in Manchester. Yeah, I met you. I think it was, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so guys, what you have to do is you can either make either or, okay, the shoe pastry or the giant cupcake. But when you take your picture, you must have a little piece of paper in front with your name on that says Twitter Bake Along and Sugar and Crumbs hashtag. And then if you win. When the draw's done, which will be the following week, next week, we you can choose up to ten bags of flavoured ice and sugar. So let's go back to Rob because he's on his screen. So are you coping there, Rob? I am. Can I just say as well, when you're doing the when you if you join in with us, we post it on a Tuesday mm -hmm. and then you have the till the following Monday at dinner time. Yeah. So you've got plenty of time. So it's not like yeah, you've got all next weekend. Yeah. You've got nearly a week. So. Yeah. And as Jackie says, you can either put it on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll put all the names in a bowl, and next Monday we will um, have a score. It. Yeah, we will. It's really nice. I love the concentration on Rob's face. Look at it. <laughs> concentration. So, are you going to let Maria see this? No. Hey? Wait. She wants to see you cut another one now for filming, Rob. <laughs> Do you want to wipe the cream off your hands? Otherwise, everyone's going to be looking at your hands for creaming. <laughs> so funny. I'll put a cloth there for friends. Who wrote there? So, you see, we love it when Maria's here. She gets in places nobody else can get. <laughs> Won't like to go there. <laughs> I can't get anywhere. I just bounce them all out of the way. <laughs> me, you take my bum. I'm going to say, don't know when it's my boobs that knocks them out on my bum. <laughs> I know, it's my bum. I haven't got any boobs. <laughs> so, Anyhow, our audience is built really nicely. There's lots of positive comments. If you guys are on Twitter, do let us know if you're on Twitter. Um, do follow Jackie and Rob on Twitter Bake Along. They really are good fun and they really get into the spirit of things. So do go over and like them if you're on, on Twitter. You can follow them on Facebook, but you're not big Facebook activists, you two, are you? The thing is, I, I used well, I used to be baking Nana on Facebook, but Facebook took it off me, so now I have to be Jacqueline Heaton. Well, nobody knows who I am. Yeah. So it's hard to, when it's your own I mean, name, I thought about setting it up again. I think they'll just take it off me again and I'll be gutted again, because I've actually Nana. lost 10 years' worth of photos, oh videos, and everything. They won't yeah. let me back on the page to take everything it's back. It's keeping up with every one of them. And it's, uh, that's another thing. Well. It's, it's hard keeping up with... Yeah. Um, each platform. I must admit, because you two do Twitter really well, John and I don't get Twitter. We're trying to sort out Instagram at the moment, hence Shelley. 
is here. So we've got In, Shelley. Instagram is one of the best ones for food and baking. Yeah. Definitely. So we're trying um, to, yeah, because my son does really well on Instagram. Yeah. So we're trying to get Shelly, Shelly also our Instagram. And then John and I do the Facebook. So, so we've now cut our eclairs in half, Rob. And I see you've got a nice little fancy nozzle on there. What have you got on there? Do you know what? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's a lot. On one side's plain, one side's serrated. Ah, right, okay then. No, no idea. It's like um, the big basket weave one. Mm. I can't mm. think what number yeah, it is, yeah. Which we have you pointed in your eclairs. Yeah. I thought you was going to use the giant 125. Uh, which would give a nice ripple effect. So I just open them right up, put the cream in, and just yeah. sit the lid on the top. Yeah. I use like something like Mrs. Whitby or. Yeah. I use an open star in mine or a cold yeah. star. Gives it a nice yeah. little. Yeah, a one end. Yeah. Wilton is very good. Just tight. Again, I use mm -hmm. that one for everything. Mm. And then, are you cutting this, Marie? Yes. So what can we see on our camera? Nothing? So we Rob's do, got a turn do, around do, again. We do, we're doing one in Oh, here there. we go. She's so good, Maria. Look at this. Look, see? Clever girl, isn't she? See how she jumps there? Mm -hmm. She gets it sorted. Has he gone up? Go <laughs> <laughs> oh, down. Down, Rob. <laughs> I say bird in a bowl, but everyone will be going, who's that? Down, Rob. Up, Rob. <laughs> Look at Maria there. She's filming and holding this camera. How good is she? She looks like a contortion or such that. <laughs> Anyhow, Maria, you're going to get some of these to go on with. Nice. You're looking forward to them. Yes. Are you having one, Shelley? Uh, it's been a while, yeah. Yeah, of course. Just take them, you don't say, am I allowed? You just take them. Nice. <laughs> and the creams, did you put any flavoured icing sugar in it? Not in this one. Like yeah. I say, I sometimes do, but because it's important, I'm going to put sweet chocolate on the top. Yes. It's quite, it's quite sweet. Some people don't like it too sweet. Yeah. But there is flavoured ice and sugar in the shells. Ah, which flavoured ice and sugar do you use? Salted caramel in here. Ah, right, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's have a taste, because I'll do without, I can't wait me. <laughs> yeah, Rob, <laughs> chef's treats, I'll tell you whether they're any good. Yeah, do the other side, we're not bothered. <laughs> yeah, John, try this, seeing as you're saying now. <laughs> seeing as you're so active in the kitchen today, John. <laughs> We can tell Rob whether they're any good or not. <laughs> when they first made and they first come out the oven. Mm. That pastry is good. When mm. they first come out the oven, it's been nice and crisp. These mm. are stood. Mm. Very nice. It's just like you get them from the shop now, isn't it? Good. Mm. A little bit more cream in there, what I've got left. The recipe says it makes 12. Well, do, do a couple of black cherry ones. I'm doing black cherry yet, so I'm not honest. Mm. Oh, it's vanilla, isn't it? Mm. I, I personally would still put the flavoured ice and sugar in the cream. I do with all my cream yeah, now. I, I know you do. I don't think of not putting it in anymore. Because I think, well, I think that's my problem now. With having the cream, in, flavouring in the cream, I actually don't like the plain cream well, anymore. You know, you know, I, I don't like dislike that. it. I'm like that with most creams, aren't I? I don't, yeah. I'm not really a cream lover. But since I've been putting the flavoured ice and sugar, I yeah. eat it. Yeah. So, guys, honestly, to put the flavoured cream in next time, even though it's got chocolate on, you want the more salty caramel you can have, the better. So. Or you can change, instead of salted caramel in your shell, you can use all the different flavours. Mm -hmm. Like you could use black cherry. Oh, yeah. That's your favourite one, that one, isn't it? Yeah. You're always after black cherry, aren't you? Mine as well. So, guys, you can use our flavoured ice and sugars to go in any recipe. And I'll tell you what I like. I just love fresh fruit with plain pouring cream, with a tablespoon of flavoured mm. icing sugar in. Just mix, stir it in, and pour it over your face, off your, over your fresh fruit. My, so easy. My favourite is a pavlova made with yeah. it, and then using it in the cream. Oh, we should have got you to make one of them, Jackie. You're coming back next time. Before, Get it on the list. So, even something as simple yeah. as a bowl of fruit and cream, seriously, flavour up your cream, it makes a massive difference, that bowl of fruit. Well, I kept seeing, you know, like, because... Do I, is this cool enough for the eggs now? Yeah. Or is it still hot? Do you feel it? That'll be okay now. Right. So, we do the rest of them, and that, we melt some chocolate and put the chocolate on, finish them off properly. Yeah. Put some dark chocolate on them, maybe the white chocolate, piece yeah, yeah. and then feather it with a bit. That's fine. No worries. You know what I'm like. <laughs> 
Is that a new language off Maria? Yeah. <laughs> That's not German. <laughs> no, it's not German. <laughs> That's next week's lesson. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, two eggs beaten up. But may not, may not take both the eggs, but a little at a time. Oh, so it might not use all the egg up. No. You get to the consistency once you get to it. Yeah, once you have it, it should be, you should be able to hold it. And stick to the spoon, give it a little wiggle, and it should yeah. drop back into the bowl, and it'll be shiny. Yeah. And we call it the ribbing stage as well. So oh, if you yeah. drip it off your spoon, yeah. and then sort of like waver it around, it'll yeah. make like a ribbing. Ribbing, yeah. I see what you say. It'll hold it, won't it? Yeah. And then if it's not to that and it's too soft, it'll just... Melt everywhere. Right. Well, so you have to be careful then. Yeah. The thing is, you don't actually weigh your eggs for this. So somebody could go and use large eggs and you could use medium. Yeah. So. And once again, I'm um, old fashioned bowl and spoon. I mean, and I did it that way. Yeah. Or you could use a mixture if you wanted. Yeah. But I just like doing it by hand and then I've got the feel, I know how far it's gone. Mm -hmm. It's the same with bread. You can make mm -hmm. bread in the mixer. I can't wait till we get these out here making red bread, 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 Rob. What do you lot think? Are you all looking, for him, looking forward to Rob making bread? We want him down here doing that. And Jackie said she might come along and eat some. Depends on me and Anna. <laughs> I'm not as flexible. I'm going to message your Joe and say, listen, can you release her from her <laughs> Nana duties this week? So just to go back for the recipe, there's no point to keep shouting it out over here. You won't get it. I've got a husky voice. John won't remember it. And uh, you might not understand what Rob says. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then we'll pass you on to Maria. You're not sure whether she's talking Spanish, English or German today. <laughs> she's doing the yip, yip, yip chat. So, so what, what's, what's your insult to Jackie? You've had to know what everybody else. <laughs> I'm being good today. <laughs> So you just go over to the Sugar and Crumbs Mixing It Up recipe website. Um, it's sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.co.uk or .com. You can use either. If you missed that, look on the back of your bag of icing sugar. It's there. Or just go to Google and put in Sugar and Crumbs recipe. And it will take you straight through to the recipe website. Can you not pin it to the top of your page? Make it a lot easier for them too? What, the recipe? The recipe website. Well, I know you can go... Uh, click on the menu and from the drop down choose recipes and you can find it within there But if there's a straight link to it Yeah, but we'll be pinning the live to the page. Yeah, we'll pin the live to the page I've made for like all time Over all the time. Yeah, I know, but what about Jackie's recipe? Oh no, not just one recipe. I mean just the mixing it up and then takes it to that site and then put the search in what they're looking for Where am I going to put that? Just I don't know, don't ask me. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. I can just about turn my iPad on me. <laughs> I think it is a third there is an there, yeah. 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 I normally just go through the other way, which I've just did. So guys, while Rob's mixing this in, we're doing a competition. So anybody who wants to make the giant cupcake, all the shoe pastry, chocolate eclairs, okay? We are giving away 10 free bags of flavoured ice and sugar of your choice to the winner, which will be drawn next week. So all you have to do, you've got all week to enter, which includes the weekend as well. You don't have to make both, only one. It's not on the best looking one, seriously. We don't work like that because we like everyone to have a go. So you could actually be a winner and actually have the worst looking ones. It's about participation. We have this on Twitter Baker Lounge because we yeah. do we have so many different levels of bakers. We've got really we've got we've got really newbies and then which we I was on a lot of the things at the very beginning. And then you've got them that are like really out the Top of the now. draw. Yeah. And they say, oh, I'm not going to do it because this one looks better and this one, it doesn't matter. It's about participation. It, yeah. To us, as long as you've entered, that's the main thing. It's we about have... joining in and having yeah. fun and yeah. having the experience. And you know what, you can write on there how it went. You know, did you find the recipe easy? Was it difficult? But it's all about joining in. And basically, everybody who's en who enters, whether they do one recipe or two, if you do both recipes, we'll put your name in twice. If you only do yeah. one, we'll only put your name in once. It will go in the drawer and we will pick a winner. So what we're doing here, Rob? Uh, just that. That. Kind of. So there. Is that the consistency? It's not coming off with the least shake you give it. 
Like that, and look well. Look like that. And you have a little leg. It can't be different because you may use me, you may, you may use yeah. large eggs. Yeah, yeah, we're using large eggs, yeah. The thing is, well, it should be do... quite shiny the mixture when you uh, go it all mixed up as well. When you do the bacon, you get a lot of people um, helping other people. That's a nice yeah. thing as well, yeah. you know. It's a community. Yeah. yeah. So the bake along is something that Jackie and Rob set up many years ago and they set it up for exactly what was this competition about. A bit of fun, everybody joining in, doesn't matter what skill level you're at, you can be a complete newbie just watching tonight and thinking, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. And you know what, give it a go, because you'll be hooked. You know what, right, when I first started doing it, um, my thing was cakes, the giant cupcakes, mm. cupcakes, that was about it. I learned to do pastry, I've made oh, you've bread, loads of things, loads haven't you? Of nearly everything, you've everything I do, I will have a go at anything. And, and it, it's, it's a real buzz, because yeah. you think, oh, like now I wouldn't think twice, I don't think, oh, I've got to go and buy some pastry. I've got to make it. Mm. So it's a lot of like... So, little... we're on for the big moment for piping, Rob. <coughs> One centimetre, yeah. Yeah. nozzle. Yeah. I forget what that nozzle is, we do sell that nozzle. I don't think what it is now. It's a it's <coughs> large round. I think it's the 2D. I think it's the 2D. Or the 2B. It's, something I've got. it's on the wish list. Because they don't drop it out there, Rob. Oh, no. Crikey, I'm nearly an hour failure after all that hard work. <laughs> Definitely be a five-second relapse on me neither. <laughs> but you're all laughing, you lot, aren't you? You're all dying to laugh. They would all love that if that had all gone over. I, I would have gone I would under. Have got two hundred fifty of you in frame, won't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. So I hope you're enjoying this live. If you're new to Sugar and Crumbs Facebook Live, let us know where you are in the world. Lots of regulars are on here tonight. We're so pleased to see you. But don't forget to say hi. And you know what? Give Jackie and Rob a big thumbs up. Let them know that you're really pleased to see them. You know, do remember everybody who comes in the kitchen comes free of charge. They do a lot of preparation before they arrive. And you know, it's preparation in talking to us, when they're coming down, what ingredients they need. They actually go and do all the shopping themselves. Um, <coughs> they bring it down, set up in the kitchen. And you know, we never know how it's gonna go when there's two in the kitchen mucking about, without my interference either. <laughs> so, so those thumbs up are coming, aren't they, John? Yeah, lots, lots. Can you also right. say when you... I love John's participation. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Feel the love. Feel can you feel it? <laughs> Don't we just love having John in the kitchen? Why am I here? Where's Laura? Yeah. <laughs> if Laura would be here, she'd be having all the spill. <laughs> can we also say, um, with the Twitter Bake Along as well, it's for everybody. So we have people in, from Australia, America, New Zealand, everybody. We do tell them that the um, the prize is usually UK based only yeah. because of the postage. And yeah. Things. But you'd be surprised how many do bake along even though they're not going to get anything because yeah. they're yes. still I'm going to say um, Talking about that, the prize is UK only. Having said that, if you want to participate and you're happy to pay for the postage and you want to go in the drawer, I'll pop it in if providing you're prepared to pay for the postage. Oh, I don't another, know. That. Another one we do as well is say uh, they've got friends in the UK. Yes. They can say, it's, well, can you give it to them? Send it to their friend. So, yes, yeah. we're happy with that as well. I need a tray. Where what? is your tray? In the other Jackie's kit one. Oh, God. Was I, that your tray? Or right, my tray? I've got a tray, but it's. My... Wasn't that my tray? Yeah, that's your tray. But oh, when but you can you me... use any tray? Yeah. Oh, let me get on out then. <laughs> I thought you had a special tray, Rob. Come on, John, move out of the way. Kind of get the stuff. Yeah, right, Shelley. What are you doing anyhow, Shelley? Are you sitting back and relaxing, enjoying yourself? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not in a position training. Yeah. She's training. I told this audience they're going to see you bobbing around. They haven't seen it yet. What are you doing? Just watching me at work. Wait, 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 w
You could have told us that before, Rob. Is that the Paul Hollywood? It is. the Paul Hollywood, yeah. I don't know, I've done it. I think I've done my knee in pulling that out. <laughs> that deserves to be clear. Uh, <laughs> Swirly ones if you want it to. Yeah, you can get round one. Like profiterole ones if you if you're scared about doing that, just do some blobs. Yeah. It's the same thing. Oh, like elephant's feet. Yeah. Do you remember elephant's feet? feet? Yeah. I've done that Rob, before. You don't get the elephant's foot on there. Of course you could if you want. He's looking right. What the friggin' nails do an elephant's foot? Ray. Ray, do you know what an elephant's foot is? Oh, it's exactly it. one of these. But bigger. But it's a big round one. <laughs> round one. So you just do a round one and then do a big you have to Louis. So you just do a round one, make it bigger. No, it needs to be bigger than that. You got to go bigger than that. Is that elephant's foot? That yeah. That's not a dog's. Thing. Not a dog's paw. <laughs> I was just gonna say dog. Paw or paw? You know what you're doing? It's a little thing That looks more like an emoji pig. Oh, right. <laughs> Rob, what are you doing? Is elephant's <sighs> foot? Stop doing dog poo. <laughs> Emoji, Claire. What are you doing, you? <laughs> Just for you. But you've got to remember, if you're doing big, big ones like that, it's going to take longer to cook it than them. Yeah, okay. Oh, it'll on. be fine. Go on. It'll be fine. They know you're having a laugh with them. You're going to have to get what? Right, what temperature are we at? Yeah, uh, 180. Right, so we can't go in this oven yet, can no. we? So, um, do they have to go in the oven straight away? <coughs> uh, or no. are they allowed to sit or will they cross can... over? No. It'll be all right. It might spread a little. Oh, should we start putting them in the oven? What are you on? 160 there, it's aren't you? 12 minutes left on that. Well, let's put them. How long do they take to bake? Uh, about 20, well, 23 minutes. Let's stick them in on that. We can whack it up afterwards. I like breaking the rules here, anyhow. And here's us saying, follow the recipe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take the notice of the woman behind the camera. <laughs> well, I only asked for an elephant's foot and got a dog poo instead. <laughs> it's more than what I thought it was. He's still with us, John Love. I am. Are you glad to be back in the kitchen? I'm loving it. Hey? See, we love having fun in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, not coming when these two are early. Right, we're just having a bit of a clean up team. Right, what are we on to next? Are we. Um, are you doing the finishing these? You're doing the And when are you making your babuara? What, what, what is he making? <laughs> <laughs> What are you making? Barra bread. bread. Barra bread. You just offended half of Wales. <laughs> it's a fruit cake and I want to sit in the camera. <laughs> I'll have to get you to say it again. I can't say it. You know I get all my words. Barra, Barra bread. bread. I'm going to say that. Barra bread. Barra bread. Barra bread. I didn't Britain, bread. Yeah. Barra bread. Barra bread. Bread. Can you do it, Maria? No, she's not. I will. <laughs> Come on, you. Barra. Hey, Brit. You're our multilingual. Yeah. Yeah. You're our multilingual person. Yeah. Spanish, yeah. English, German. You can just done Welsh there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got babuava or something in my mind. Oh, you need the bowl. Yeah, leave that one there, uh, Rob. Get another bowl, Andre. Don't worry about that, Andre and Maria. Change of scene in the kitchen. Ah. Remember we moved everything round? I know. Yeah. Everyone will be saying, not watching these two again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a good night. Are you enjoying it, everybody? I'm sure you are enjoying it. What do you think, Shelley? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm laughing at the world. Yeah? <laughs> when are you doing some filming? Is she doing some filming? I remember when it's been filming. Are you doing the gate? You take it, doing one each, are you? Yeah. Good girl. That's what we like. And get Maria, no jumper on. Can you imagine? Come on, Maria, show them how pretty and gorgeous you look. No jumper. Did -da -da -da. <laughs> well impressed. Was <laughs> it delivered or did you forget it? <coughs> Not <laughs> They're all amazed. They probably all fell over that you haven't got a jumper on. But Shelley's here in a hoodie. Quite warm though. Oh, Rob. Oh, 
You got all the skill in an hour on it. If you've got a smaller plastic one, mm. about plastic ones in the sink. We've got smaller ones. What do you need then? Small plastic ones. No, we've got smaller ones at the back there. We've got loads of those little ones. We've got a small one. Yeah. There we go. Can we just watch that handle not hanging over the side, please? Can we move them on the side? Ta, 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 ta. It's my fear, I don't like handles hanging over the side. So what type of chocolate are you using here then, Rob? Yeah. Are them plain? Just plain chocolate. And is this is cheap chocolate or expensive? 39 pence. Cheap? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's, not, he's not a dairy milker like me. You're not a dairy milker like Jack then? Well... Not that I know what a dairy milker is, but... Dairy milk chocolate. Cadbury's. <laughs> the dairy milk uh, is a lot thicker. When this, the plain chocolate, it goes thinner. Ah, ah right, okay. Another butter and 200 grams plain chocolate. The butter gives it a nice shine. You're shame. making me laugh, you are. Let's <laughs> launch it in there with all the finesse in the world. Throw the boiling water everywhere as well. <laughs> so we have a commercial break? I think so. I'm going to go and have a lie down. <laughs> in the pot? In the pot. <laughs> If anyone ever takes us seriously here again. Anyhow, while Rob launches everything around the kitchen and now makes our kitchen into a swimming pool with the kettle of oil and water that he's just done. <laughs> Did you see him do that, Jackie? I didn't do that. Because I've been standing there now. Have we got any water left? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you lot think? What do these lot think, eh? Are you enjoying tonight's live? Eh? I hope so. I need to go and have a lie down afterwards. By the way, we do do demos as well, like. <laughs> you fancy coming and seeing and us at Saturn Park in the summer? Ah, yeah, that's a good thing. Uh -huh. Jackie and Rob do get around the country doing live demos. And you're at Saturn Park in Cheshire, aren't you? When yeah. are you there? What makes yeah, that? I think it's June. 13th of July, we're oh, about 13th right. of July. Yeah. 13th of July, you can go and join them. We feed you. Yeah. Yeah, we feed you. And yeah, make it. King Desserts Theatre. Cake and Desserts Theatre. Yeah. It's a really good day, yeah. Really yeah. Good. You do that every year, don't yeah, you? Last year it was red hot. Yes, yeah, the heat wave. Oh, it was horrendous. It was 38 degrees and we had to stand next to the oven. It wasn't nice. But, um, and our granddaughter did a uh, bake along with all the other kids who were making an eating mess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And she gave them, they gave me 600 milliliter tubs of cream and a balloon whisk to whisk it up. <laughs> your face was the same colour as me Yeah, but you were daft enough to say yeah, well, you know, I just walked the other way. All the other parents were going tickling it. Because we had our aprons on when we were walking round. This woman grabbed us in the tent. She went, oh, yeah. come it, because they're there. Yeah, they have a children's tent. Yeah, they have a they have a cake and dessert tent, which is we what we go in. Then they have a master master chef tent, which is like all the foodies, and then they have a children's tent. Um, and we were walking round just having a, having our dinner between bakes, and this woman was in the children's tent. She went, "Oh, just come in here and help." And Maggie said she wanted to have a dinner. That's thing. Is there whipping all the cream up for everyone? I was like, "No, not me, thanks." <laughs> I, I didn't have my electric whisk with me. There's no chance I was doing it. Get Rob on the job. Yeah, get Rob on the job. <laughs> But they are nice at Feeding Fest. The Christmas ones are nice. Yeah. They do, um, and what else do you do? So you do the Christmas one, the summer one. Summer one, yeah. Didn't you end up being going having a... Didn't you have some fancy road trip down to London last year and um, they picked you up in a swanky oh, car? What took you for... Um, you the telling you went Oh, when I went on Victoria Derbyshire, that was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You get about, don't oh, you? I, that was so... It was mad because um, they phoned me up on the Monday. They wanted me to go on telly on the Tuesday morning at half nine. And it, it was about one o'clock, I think it was, when they phoned me. And I went, I don't drive, I don't know, I don't know my way to London. And I'm hopeless. I, if I get on the bus, I'm scared. <laughs> don't worry about it. They had a car at my house at half past five in the morning. I got straight on the train. Um, I got off the train at half past eight in London. I was at BBC Studios for like nine o'clock. 
did what I had to do. I was back home making pizzas for two. <laughs> at home, for tea. Great. And then I stood there and nearly cried. Yeah, wonder what you Because done. it was like, you could ask anyone, I won't go anywhere unless yeah. someone's with me. And mm -hmm. I did it all with a cake on the train. But thank God there was this man helping me. Because he must have seen the fear in my face and he was like, you all right, you all right? And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know where I'm going. So he helped me with my cake. And then we made it all the way to London and back. But that's good though, isn't it? Yeah. You know what? You were yeah. put under pressure there. You had to do it. Get out and do it. Yeah. Good girl. It was it was fun. Good girl. But like I said, I nearly cried when I got home. I was just stood there making the dough for pizzas and I was like, what? Where have I been? I've been to London. I'm making pizza for tea. <laughs> well, uh, Rob is making his chocolate. <laughs> do you want to start making your buttercream? Yes. yes, yes, yes. Should we do that? Because we can yes. get that on, can't no we? Problem, yes. And then as soon as Rob's ready, we can come over. Yeah. He's uh, used all my spoons. <laughs> Aren't you, Robert? Yeah. And does anybody know what's going to put my cake in the oven? I know, I was thinking about them. I think it's only been just over an hour. Mm -hmm. We've been on air 58 minutes. Oh. Yeah. Is that on at one quarter? Yeah. So I might have to test both of them then. Yeah, let's get a, Let's have a look. One second, can I just get here, Rob? Thank you very much. Shall you have a look at this uh, melted chocolate that Rob's doing? I am, yes, yeah. yes. I've been, flipping, I've been flipping backwards and forwards. Yeah, I am, right. I might to make this fast. Well, in between, Rob throw water all over the kitchen <laughs> and anything else wants to watch. We tried to avoid that one. Yeah. <laughs> I think we flipped cameras fast enough. <laughs> just watch your back, Jackie. Oh, I think this might be Rob. A little bit more that one. Yeah. Can I kiss start this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Right, um, this is when um, Carol starts moaning at me now because everybody does know me, knows I make my frosting with stock. And people moan about it, but there you go. But this will work and for... And she called it the right name? Yes, I Frosting. Well, I was, being, I was being nice, but I do call it buttercream. Um, so this work, this works exactly the same way with butter or stock. So uh, I'll tell you that. So we've got 500 grams of stock. I'm just going to whip this up for a little bit to uh, soften it up. Oh, get me! Got it first time. <laughs> we'll be able to get it back on after. Right, we'll talk about a bit about frosting buttercream. Get loads of people saying, oh, that was good. Hey, you sound like you're shy. Is that Rob? Is it good? See? Get your time up. <laughs> <laughs> We're very professional here, Robert. Right, well, so. This is just an off day. <laughs> Yeah, it's all fun, isn't it? Right. People say when making frosted or buttercream, um, it's very grainy or it's very lumpy. What you need to do is you need to whip your butter stroke stock for as long as possible. It won't do it any harm and you'll know when it's ready because you look at your butter and when you first put, use your butter or stock, look at the colour. Like the stock, it's very yellow. Some of the butters are very yellow. And then what you need to do is you just need to whip, keep it whipping. If I was at home now, I'd probably leave that for a good 10 minutes and you'll notice it goes very, very pale and that's what you want. I'll just turn this up a minute and scrape it down. So that's still quite yellow. What do you need? Do you want to check that, Rob? I always say when I'm at home, I'll go and make myself a brew and watch telly for 10 minutes and, you know, just leave it. Nothing's going to go wrong with it. Unless Sorry, you, you know, unless you want to keep, give your mixer five minutes breather here and there. But it's, then you can go up a bit. I don't know what this is now. I don't this. I know what it is. I know what it is. Is that done? 
Now you can't see this as well as what you would here, but you'll, you'll notice it's gone really soft and it's a lot paler than what it originally was. And then all you need to do is, so that was 500 grams of um, stock and now I'm putting in, I'm scared of it doing such a massive clot. This is a kilogram and I'm going to put it in two halves. Lovely. Yeah, so Jackie, Jackie and I have a little bit of banter and I think sometimes people forget that they think that me and Jackie are serious when we're having a go at each other. It is really light-hearted banter. You can make your frosting any way you want. If you want to use margarine, that's fine. You know, there's those, uh, those of you who are on a dairy-free recipe as well and you have to use like something like say, pure um, and stuff like that. The start block is for dairy-free. Yeah. So, so I get that. But I do have a, I do have a feeling that if it's called buttercream, you should call it use butter. So I, I can always cope if you call it frosting, Jackie. Maybe that's where we've been going wrong. The thing years. is, frosting is an American word, and there's not one since come over here. When we were kids, buttercream was buttercream. Well, Maybe I, butter. I never knew what. For, no, my my parents, my grandparents, start was in the house. They couldn't afford butter. A bit like you did. You couldn't afford the butter. And as it is now, it is getting real. It's getting silly, money, isn't it? <laughs> but it, and yeah, we beg to differ. Let's yeah. move on. The thing is, it, 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 whatever floats your boat. And you know what I like now. Whatever floats your boat. I just say whatever you want. Don't let Rob loose I, in the kitchen because everything's floated tonight. I mean, I'm a home baker <laughs> and I do a lot of charity stuff. If I did it with butter all the time, I couldn't do what I do. Yeah. And people eat it. Yeah. So. This is my argument. I to be fair, Jackie, you do use our flavoured ice and sugar, which makes it taste that's extremely what I mean. nice. It's, you know, it's it's thingy, but I just say if people are happy to eat it, and I understand that some say, well, you know, if you're going to sell them, but I don't sell them, and I just think you look at how many cakes I make and people do eat it. I just yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, Rob, do you want to get back in there and put your? Here we are. So as soon as Jackie turns this off for a minute, so we're just going to turn it off, Jackie, and let Rob finish what he's do. doing. I can finish this off. Yeah. So. There. Yeah. Yep. As Shelly is on now. The, on there, yes, please. Yeah. Rob. Shelly is now your girl, Rob, over your shoulder. Right. Now be careful, Shelly. This could launch on top of you. <laughs> the way that Rob's been throwing things general. around the kitchen. <laughs> You don't know what might be coming your I'll way any it. second. <laughs> Not there. That's with the butter in. Yeah, are you filming this? And we show the audience. Fantastic. What do we think? It's looking good, isn't it? It is looking good. Right. So you're not piping this on, you're just spooning it on. Spoon it. You need to be. Yeah, I'm going to just take one at a time. Right, when are you going to do it because she needs to, where are you going to do it? Yeah, over the board. Maria's chasing you around the kitchen with this camera here at the moment, Sorry, Rob. <laughs> Just try and get a straight line on your front. You know, some people probably just say, pour it on. Well, I was going to say, I'd be just pouring it on. Yeah. <laughs> pouring is better than throwing in. <laughs> And do remember when you come to the kitchen, you know, when you're at home baking, it's all right when you're baking in your own kitchen with all your own utensils, your own tools, with all the time <coughs> in the world that you've got. But when you're, when you're here in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, you know you lot are all watching, it does make you a bit nervous and a bit shaky. So do remember, keep those love hearts going. Thumbs up, that looks delicious, Rob. You know, so do, re do remember, give these guys some support. It is actually mad how even like an oven setting you can just make Well, it. we've experienced that today, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. So Jackie was here earlier, she'll show you in a minute. She always bakes at 160. Yeah, 160. And then hour. in my oven, we baked at 160 and it was cooked in less than an hour and that probably overdone. It is still very nice and nice, <coughs> but she would have liked a lighter bake. And bearing on that, I think your cake's ready to come out the oven now. A bundle will be as well. <coughs> a thoroughbred. Yeah, I'm just going to have to do that. That's a tea towels. Mm -hmm. I think there's one on the other side of the other one. Yeah. Um, so we'll just put one in. Once you get all these done, and it's had a minute, I'll melt some white chocolate. And we'll put a little bit of white chocolate across the top of them, just to dress them. 
So we can turn that on and off now. This one. Yep. Just twist that around to the right. Yep. You can come further in, Rob. Yeah, that'd be great. Because Ray doesn't have to film the floor then. <laughs> That's yours, Marie. I think everything's, everyone's going to be drunk on this camera, aren't they? They've been wobbled and shook around that much, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> I know what this is now. I didn't recognise the name, but as soon as it, got, it come in the oven, I just could smell it. Yeah, it's mm. amazing, I love it. It's nice, uh, a little bit of Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> That's it. We're going to cover all these. Ooh, who's going to make these then? <coughs> So come on, John, with your feedback. Come on, guys, get those thumbs up. Let us know who's going to make these. So remember, this is going in for our competition. You could win 10 bags of flavoured ice and sugar. We're going to put a post on afterwards. Um, to Because when Maria's taking the photographs afterwards, she'll put a post on. And um, you can either make the chocolate eclairs or you can make the giant cupcake that um, Jackie's going to finish in a minute. Um, if you make both, you get two entries into the competition. If you make one of any of them, one entry into the competition. It's not about the best one. So let's make sure we've got that right. It's not about the best one. It's about participating. So your uh, name will go into the draw. And whoever wins next week can choose 10 bags of flavoured ice and sugar of their choice. You are right, Rob? Are you, are yeah, you, are you looking to go somewhere? No, you're just taking that bun, bun out of the oven. He's ready for home. <laughs> you maybe You've taken the bun out of the oven once 15 minutes before it's turned out. Pardon? The bun, what you've just taken out of the oven. I'm just looking at the time because it's once 15 minutes before you turn it out. Ah, right. Let me see. Probably be I. Alright, I thought you were ready for doing a runner. I just didn't mind what I could actually touch it without burning my fingertips. Yeah. Do you want us to turn the Rob, shoe Rob's pastry up? bringing a bit of science to this place. Do you want us to turn the shoe pastry up now, Rob? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, don't just turn it up a bit, shall it's 180. We're all sniffing here, aren't we? Yeah. I can't believe it. it was only two weeks ago when you were in, wasn't it? I said it just doesn't want, it seems to go for a day or so. That's how I am. And then I wake up and I'm thinking, God, not again. That's how I am. She was blaming me. The last time I was down, she was like that. Yeah, it was Christmas. I was bad at Christmas. Well, it always takes me about eight weeks to get over it. For I, don't, I don't think it's it's gone since Christmas. I think it's just carried it on and yeah. on. Then again, it doesn't help when I've got little ones, you know. Just I think the change of the weather, though, isn't it? Because yeah. we've had quite a mild winter this year. And the kids keep getting it, like you say, so just, yeah. it's a vicious circle. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're well in about a day or two, and then it takes me six to eight weeks to yeah. get to it again. They're looking good, these, Rob. Aren't they girls? What do you think? Yeah, they look amazing. Mm. Better for me. So Better for you. <laughs> we can all have one with a cup of tea afterwards. When we finish, can't we? I Pack did, up, I did up. mine. Pardon? I did mine. Do you dip yours? Yeah. So we are, see Maria there, she said she dipped hers as well. No! Maria, we're trying to get on the live to show you how to make stuff. Because Maria's actually a cracking little baker. Yeah. Yeah, she brings stuff into work, she makes fudge, macarons, cake, biscuits, brings she, them in, all tastes delicious. Macarons. Yeah, she has her own unique way of making them. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Self-raising flour is in the recipe, don't ask anymore. Right. <laughs> oh, right. Just oh, there we go. And it works. Well, looking looking cool. Have you lost camera angle? What are we on, John? Way, what do we think of those, everybody? We let them cool slightly and then we put a bit of white chocolate across the top. Otherwise, yeah. it's all blending what we do it now. And are you melting the, the white chocolate as well for later? Yeah, I'm not supposed to pour it all over Right, no Thanks. worries. So what do we think, everyone? John? Yeah. Are you on camera? Are you still here? Yeah? I am. I'm still here. Don't worry. Right. Yeah. Everybody's he disappeared again. Everyone's loving it. He's got his eyes on the cake, everyone. Closer to the all right. Get those thumbs up. Come on then. Let's show us what you've been doing. So we've got to get a move on now because we've got to get Jackie on finishing off hers. So we're just going to move Rob's out the way for a little bit. Rob, where are we going to move you? 
So you're not in Jackie's way. So we're going to move everything out and then we're going to get on with Jackie's giant cupcake. Easter giant cupcake. I think, is that where I'm supposed to be in the middle? Or anyway? Yeah. You can move that mat, Jackie, if you don't want it there. There we go. So, do you need to finish your buttercream or did it finish? Not done. I you know? finished it off by hand. Right, and then we're showing the difference between these two um, cakes. One yeah, and the I'll other show two them first, yeah. Right, so this is our first one. Which we're going to use now. Yeah. We okay there? Mm -hmm. So this was done at one. He's still here, Johnny. Participated. Change camera. One sixty for just well, it's fifty-five minutes. That one. Yeah, it? it was. And this one, which has just come out. So we dropped it down to one forty, and it took an an hour. Mm -hmm. So basically, Jackie bakes on 160 yeah. at home, but she's baking in her ovens all the time, where we don't bake in our ovens very often, maybe once or twice a week if we're lucky. Um, and if we've had guests in who've been doing sugar paste and things like that, we, we may not bake in them for weeks. So when we put the oven on 160, they're still like new ovens. So uh, they bake very fast and a bit darker than Jackie would like. But having said that, it's still, um, it's still are we on this camera, John? Are we on this camera, John? So if you feel it, it's still it's still quite soft. Yeah, yeah, still sponge in there. So we're, we're going we'll to have to cut it. it open. It's now in the middle. <laughs> Don't cut it open. <laughs> so, right. Some people leave it as it is. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't. Do I don't. Because I think all that sponge can sometimes be a bit too dry. Oh, it looks nice inside, actually. Oh, you're saying that as though you're surprised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always nerve-wracking, isn't it, when you're with your sponge? Oh, Robbie, you took all this stuff. Do you want spoons, Jackie? No, no, I need them. Palette knife, it is here. No, no, I'll just use it on oh, you. Was that your palette knife, sir? Yeah, no, that makes you this cream. Right, so I usually, if I'm doing, um, depends on what I'm doing, actually. Uh, if I'm putting quite a little bit of chocolate on, I use a chocolate spread. Um, if I'm doing like a Victoria sponge, obviously it'll be uh, jam. Yeah. Um, if I'm using lemon drizzle, it's nice with a bit of um, lemon curd in the middle. Yeah, I like so, lemon curd. Totally in, up to you what you put inside. And then I usually like to trim the top so it'll sit better. Ooh, cross for us. Do you know it's the only time I do actually cut a cake. When I do when I do a normal sponge, I turn them upside down, press them down mm. for a couple of minutes, it makes them nice and flat. Yeah, that's so what I do. Don't waste it. Mine upside down. But I don't think, that it doesn't work all the time with this. Come on. Are we having are you do you need this chocolate here? No, eat oh. it, please. I want the bowl, the milk white chocolate. Oh come on Maria. Trying to be a oh Shelly hard look, you're the wrong side of the counter. <laughs> <laughs> and the good thing is John won't want the chocolate because it's dark chocolate. So, do you not like dark chocolate? I'll put it in. I love dark chocolate. It's my favourite. You're not going to have a bit on? Mm. Go on. Mmm. Oh, God. Just dripped it all down my top. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was in there. Sorry. All right. I'll oh, put a bit of this cream on to keep the top secure. We are right there, maybe. It must be nice. John's back for more and doesn't like dark chocolate. Didn't have any before. I'm just trying yeah. it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's a nice offset on the sweet cake. So the recipe you saw, Jackie make the recipe earlier. It is on the website and it's just under Giant Cupcake. We're going to call it the Easter Giant Cupcake because she's going to decorate this as an Easter one. What was the one you did last time? I can't remember. I did the pina colada, not I? Mm. And then we did one where you decorated it with um, nifty nozzles. Mm. Mm. It's quite warm in here, so it's, it's frosty and it's a bit soft, but it's not different. Well, we'll see you there, John. Jack is left-handed, so we need to be on that side. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Bring it round there, right? Is that that's fine. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Remember this last time, it's so awkward doing it from the other side. So obviously if I was at home, it'd be a bit slower and a bit more tidier, but and I'm doing it on an angle, so. But you get the gist. Yeah. And it's actually quite warm here today, isn't it? Really? That's the thing, you've been down this side of the country kitchen. I, I was just thinking, you don't see me in that. Yeah, you don't see me in that camera, can you? Rhea, this camera here. That you're filming with. <laughs> you see, you don't see me in the oven behind yeah. Jackie eating. Yeah. <laughs> Every mouthful of that chocolate <laughs> sponge has been caught on camera. <laughs> it does look. Rhea. Because the oven's a mirrored. Yeah, I can feel my fucking sheets getting redder and redder as I'm going along. It doesn't take me much to get a hot flush. Yeah, so just um, get it in all the nuts and crannies. Well, I can say that sponge is gorgeous, Jackie. I'm really I'm saving you know, herself with chocolate hair. It's come out nice, is not it? Mm, delicious. Right, guys, that's me, John. Do you want me to go and wash this bowl for you? And then you put your hot layer on to give it a bit of uh, Let's call it the cement layer this because it keeps everything in place. The best thing with these, you, can, you don't even have to plan. I, I never plan a giant cupcake as such. Just have a look what I've got in and go, go with it. So it's quite fun because they're not stressful. Why well, don't they do it anyway? But I think people just get a bit. I've actually put, I actually got on the um, Sugar and Crumbs website, or no, it's on the actual page. There is um, a photo walkthrough of doing one as well, which is pretty good. It gives you the rough idea to do stages. You're quite good at doing all that type of thing, aren't you? I do it a lot because um, I, always, I always think, you know, like personally, because I, I am learning a lot. When you're actually reading a recipe, it can get a bit daunting, can't it? Yeah. And then, then you forget what stage you're at, or you're not sure what it's like when Rob was doing the um, the eclairs, you're not quite sure how it's supposed to look, are you? No. But people are actually like reading by pictures as well. Yeah. That's why I think the Facebook Lives are so good, because we're not professionals, none of us. We just like having a go in our kitchen. Yeah. And I'm going to go in our kitchen, and you know what? It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. No, no. We're not here to make it perfect. Yeah, Rob. Right, so I, I mostly use chocolate fingers on mine, just because I think it's a lot, it's easy, um, and it's quick. But you can actually use, uh, you can actually make a chocolate base for it with your um, your cupcake uh, tin. You just melt the chocolate, pour it in, and then tip it upside down. Put it in the fridge for a little bit to harden, and then do it about another two or three times. And then you can just pop it out of the mould. And you can sit your cake in. The only thing I don't do that, a reason I don't do that a lot, is because you have to waste quite a bit of cake to yeah. sit it back in. So I think the uh, chocolate fingers are a good idea. And it is quite, it's a lot cheaper as well if you're watching the price. So which camera can you see that on, John? Well, I'm getting them from this one. Yeah. But we'll be able to pick up the but other this, side when this we start. This isn't in the way, is it? Mm, you can push it down that's a bit. No, you know what? No, it's all right. It's all right. There's a hook in there. Well, it's okay. Well, we'll, we'll start getting it on the other camera when it comes around a little bit further. I was going to say, I'll be yeah. a public player. Yeah, we can see it now. Normally, um, two packets of fingers. If you're like me, I buy things on when they're off on offer as well, which is 
You mm. see Rob's got the white chocolate on again. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't switched it on yet, I've just put it ready. You can start melting it if you want. This is quite a nice effect with the chocolate fingers though, isn't it? Yeah, I but think, I think so. you've, I think I've seen you do them alternate. Chocolate yeah, and yeah. milk chocolate. And milk yeah. chocolate, I do the milk chocolate yeah. ones. And um, then uh, you've just done them with milk chocolate outside, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So you can do whatever you want. It's a nice way though of uh, I think this way, decorating up the side. I think this way looks like um, a cupcake case. Yeah. So that's that's another reason why I like doing it. Yeah. So guys, everything on the wish list, okay? If anything you want to buy tonight, we're not a hard sale, but lots of people always want to know what we're using. So we're using the sugar and crumbs flavoured icing sugars to flavour the um, giant cupcake tonight and the uh, chocolate eclairs. Personally, I would have still put the salted caramel in the cream, but that's my personal choice uh, to give it more of a salted caramel flavour. Um, everything else that we're using is on the wish list. So go over to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. On the right hand side is Facebook Live's wish list. Drop down into the menu to this month's. Look for the Baking Nana and Rob Allen and you'll, you'll see there everything that they're using. Okay, so if there's anything you want to buy, it's all there for you. The recipe is on the Sugar and Crumbs Mixing It Up website. And that recipe site, you can go through our own website because it does say recipes at the top. Or you can just go to Google and write sugar and crumbs recipes. Or you can actually go to the back of your bag of the ice and sugar bag and you can find it there, sugar and crumbs mixing it up. Or I will tell you, it's sugar and crumbs mixing it up .co.uk or .com, whichever you prefer. So Rob is just going to say, look at these, we have got some elephant's feet. They did grow those boys. They did grow. Strange elephant's feet, but they'll do. <laughs> right, yeah. um, do you want yeah, to yeah. The, the nozzle? Yep, so we're on here, this is a 2D nozzle. Right. So it's a Wilton 2D. Yep, and you stick it under this camera here. Yep, there we go. Yep. Perfect. And you can either use a Wilton 2D, which is what Jackie's using, or you can use, use a Wilton 1M Star. Those are the larger of the nozzles. Don't buy anything small, too no. smaller than that, it won't be right. And I like this one because you can do a few different effects with it. Yeah. Instead of having to change your bags and nozzles. Yeah. So. Well, with those two nozzles, the 1M and 2D, you can do exactly the same thing. So with this one... So, Jackie... This, just, is, this is just a trim, my yeah, eye. Just let Maria get in. So with this one, it's just a squeeze. This is just a trim. I find this just makes it, I usually put a little bit of sprinkles on or something, I'll make some, something for it. I just think it finishes it off nice. Thing is, I usually put cupcake round mine, so you don't really see it, but I think it's just what I do. Now this one is called a pipe rosette. So you go in and you, know, like you lift up a little bit and then you go anti-clockwise and round. There you go. And then go quite next next to that, that last one because you overlap it slightly. So in and round. In. So, can we see on that camera, John, quickly? Well, are you going around a couple of times? Yeah. I'll... Yeah. So, while Jackie does that, can you just pop over to what Rob's doing over there? Rob is just melting some white chocolate because he's going to drizzle over his chocolate eclairs. And then if we go back to Jackie, Jackie loves doing these rose, roses. Jackie's actually very good at them. These are my favourites. And, yeah, they can take a little bit of time to um, master, but once you've got it, you do But the thing is, if, you, if you're a bit worried about doing something like that, until you, you're ready to, you know, feel like you're capable of doing it, on, just put it all, like what I've done there, just put that all over the top. It looks just as nice.
I always say when we're at the demos, because a lot of people are scared about using uh, nozzles and piping or, you know, wasting a cake or something, if you do it wrong, there's nothing wrong with scraping it off and starting again. But the other thing is, make yourself up a batch of buttercream frosting and um, keep it in the fridge and put it put a little note on saying it's your tester frosting. Mm. Put it in a little, like, I don't know, Tupperware box. Mm -hmm. Get yourself a baking tray, turn it upside down and pipe onto it. Mm. And then you can just scrape it off and put it back in the tub and do it again. Yeah, so you, good idea. you're not wasting um, any buttercream and it's there for practicing, so you don't have to keep baking as well. Yeah, you don't want to keep wasting stuff. Good idea. So I've just chucked out the way of the camera that Maria's put facing at us. Oh no, we can't see. Good, that's fine. That's a better thing. Well, you have me right on the camera there then. <laughs> That's a good angle. So what do you think, everybody? Do you want some, have you got some uh, sprinkles to go on? I've got bits and pieces there that I'll put on. Oops. It does happen, but you just go over with the next one. That's because I've not let the air out of my bag. Push it down and put some out. This means you've got an air pocket in there. So. Did you change cameras to that channel? Mm -hmm. Are you going backwards and forwards with the camera? Mm -hmm. I can't see. Yeah. It's looking good, it's looking good. Yeah, keep making sure your bag's tight. See, the thing is, I've got, I've got nasty habits now. Because I, I fight quite a bit. And I forget to do these things, so it's my own fault. And this buttercream, well, frosting is melting as much as what I am at the moment. Fantastic, that's what we like. How good's that? So you all know you should all now know how to do a rose swirl. Yeah, I've actually put it on uh, the Facebook page. That little video that you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I if you notice on some of my cakes I do like to make my own little chocolate decorations with moulds. So Jackie, is there a chance you can come around this end so they can see? Um so, yep. Yeah. Can you lean over there? I'm just or can you lean the other way? Which way do we need up in the camera? In fact, I'll tell you what. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Right, let's put it this way. Okay. Right, let's put it that way, then she can do it then. Yeah? Yeah, all right. You're not in the way of this camera, though. Oh, am I? Right, sorry. Are we back? A bit more. A bit more. Okay. So all I've done is just knit to the shop and I've just got a load of Easter chocolate decorations. Oh, we like them. Mini eggs. Yeah. What have we got in the oven, Rob? Oh, oh we can it turn it off. And it's yeah. off. Please turn it off and dance it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit worried about putting these rabbits on because they're quite heavy and this is it's quite... I'm hoping they'll stay up. <laughs> it's the heat. We're going to have to get them in the fridge fairly rapid, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. But the thing is, I actually, I bought some the other week and they were half the size of this, you know, like in a multi-pan. Mm. And then I picked these up at the shop and I thought, oh my God, I'm going to save these. Oh. <laughs> We've got wires going everywhere now. Some... I do like the chocolate, as you can tell. Oh, I can tell you like your chocolate, Jackie. Aye, <laughs> uh, okay. I'm being nice. I've <coughs> got some wafer bases on. I think we're going to have to get this in the fridge. It's so warm in this it kitchen. It is, it is. It is melting. I think it's the heat off me. So what do we think, everybody? So you can just play, just put whatever you want on. 
sure everyone would be happy with all the chocolate that's on it. I'm sure they will. That's what Easter's all about. I'd be hoping I'm getting it? that big rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Does it become a point? I, do you know what? I never think Jackie, that. Jackie, does it become a good point where there's less is more? Yeah. No. Are you doing what, no. the, you doing no. what your Maggie's doing? Do you know what? This is what I'm just, I was just about to say, right? I never think about the poor person who has to cut these cakes open. <laughs> I just start standing there, just don't like right, right. I was going to say, you think we're on less is more? Now. There we go. There we go. <laughs> well done, Jackie. Yeah, well. <laughs> Let's get that in the fridge. Thank you. <laughs> right. Can I go in the fridge as well? Yeah, no. Leg it down here, Jackie, yeah, fairly okay. rapid. Thank you. John, go and get that fridge open a minute. I don't, I'm not sure. Watch that doesn't disappear. Right. Are you all right there, Shelley? Yeah. <laughs> it's warm near the oven. <laughs> I know, it's boiling, isn't it? <laughs> I took my jumper off. <laughs> So smaller piping like this, take mm. it, you've not cut it. No. Right, just wait for, oh, yeah. just wait for, oh, yeah. right, just wait for Shelly. Oh, yeah. How come you're not doing it? Pardon? Water. <laughs> yeah, go on then. So you can hear all the whispering in the background as they're trying to fit this giant cupcake in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the other stuff out. Yeah. We're just filling the piping bag here. Is your giant cupcake in the fridge now? Yeah. yeah. So. I'm going in next. I know. <laughs> so what are we doing now, Rob? What technical skills do we need here? Okay. Right, wait a minute. So my camera has gone a bit too white. Right. Why do I do so, that? Because obviously I want to drizzle it over the top so there'll be white chocolate goes on your benches. Yeah. So mm -hmm. from the top I do that and then it's just the paper gets wrapped up, mm -hmm. pinned. Yeah. Right, John, are we active? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're eating the white chocolate, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go, Rob. That's how it's done. So simple when you know it. And then what you can do if you wish with a cocktail stick, cake tester, just draw a line down the centre and put a feather in through it. Oh, we've got a cake tester somewhere. So once you've got that like that, just simple. Pull it down. Ah. Through the centre. Or you can do one more way, one yeah. on the bigger ones. Super. So if you hear any munching in the background, it's Maria licking the bowl of white chocolate. <laughs> Are you all right there, Shelley, love? Yeah, I'm fine, yeah. Yeah, watch what's going to happen with this wire here. Yeah. This cable was lovely and clean until we let you loose with the camera. <laughs> we had lovely clean cables. There we go. I didn't realise you two could make such a mess in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, it's not me. <laughs> you're not making a mess, you're not doing it right. <laughs> yeah. Take your home. Yeah. Once we're all done, get a few more of them all done. When we get them all together. Yeah. Are you sure you got If you want to be easier, like me, when you're doing that chocolate thing, you can put your um, couple of pieces of chocolate in the bag in the microwave for 30 seconds. No, me and chocolate don't get on well. And then you just give it the squeeze. Me, me chocolate in the microwave don't get on well. That's why I use the bag Yeah. 
Like that, Every time I put chocolate in the microwave, Bend. I end up with a hard lump. Oh, I'm having done in the microwave. Yeah. Super. I just think of all the washing up, so that's me. <laughs> I'm thinking of all the washing up we've got now, Jackie. <laughs> I'm going to be here till gone midnight, but there's a lot of way. I hope you lot have all enjoyed this tonight. Let me tell you now. I hope you've all enjoyed it and understand what we've got to go through after you lot leave. We're going to eat as much cake as we can to have as much energy as we can to clean this frigging place up. <laughs> oh, it's alright. Rob lo loves launching things around and see what happens. <laughs> Yay. Oh, let's get them all on there, displayed up. Oh, is that straight for you? I can't believe you. <laughs> I wish we could get Maria on camera now. She's now got a piping bag squirting white chocolate straight into her mouth. <laughs> and if John's very clever, he'll be able to see her. Can I see her there? Can you see her there? <laughs> John, get her on camera quick, quick. <laughs> We've got her! <laughs> Look at her python bag in the mouth! <laughs> Come on, John! You're not going red there, are you, Maria? <laughs> well done! <laughs> let's get back to these then. Haven't they done well? Come on, guys, let's get this lot on together. We're going to get this last cake out. So, is your, do you think yours will have had long enough in the fridge for a minute? To calm I've down? I've got one. Can I bring me <coughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, because. The oh, one she made earlier. Yeah. So let's get these on here. Don't they look good? Don't they look good? Gorgeous. Yeah, look, even John's in the actual wet egg now. <laughs> I'd be out on the white chocolate, that's gone. <laughs> yep, you get that one. Egg decorating. We'll take it off on that. Yeah. And then she'll want to make one. So, let's get this on here. Oh, we've got little rabbits on that one. That's what I said, I've got them, and then I went to the shop and picked them up, not even realising. The big giant like, ones. Oh my God. So if you suddenly want to add the dry them, yeah, you wonder why the rabbits are shrunk, it's not because we put them in the fridge. No. <laughs> and I wanted to show you because I've had them. Uh, yeah, 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 look at that, this one's stamp. So Jackie, is, uh, one she's done earlier, she has covered the board in sugar base. It's fine then. And can you see that there, John? Mm -hmm. So we've yep. used the sweet stamp. Which, which range have you got, Jackie? Handwriting. Just tell the download. Handwritten. That's it. Perfect. That looks lovely. Doesn't that look so good? Hundreds and thousands. Hundreds and thousands, yes. yes. Oh, oh, look at that. Do we like that? Mm. So that's the Amy, Amy sweet stamp, and that's a handwritten set. Yeah. And then we've got Rob's eclairs there. Now, Rob, get this barrel. What's it called? A barrel of bread. Barrel of bread. So you saw Rob make this before and I wanted him to use this gold elegant bunt pan. So come on then. Right. We'll sell these there. on our website. Right. So out the oven. Once you take them out of the oven, give them 15 minutes and then they should hopefully with a little bun prayer they should come out. A bun prayer. So the bun prayer. Because if they go like that and it sticks, it's <laughs> Way! Oh, yeah. That's a breeze. That's a fruit cake. Mm. Well done. That smells gorgeous. Oh, wow, they put good. loads of butter on that. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And what you can do while it's still warm like that, you can heat three tablespoons of honey into the pan, warm it a little, and then brush it over the top to glaze it. Cut that rub. You can cut it. You can eat it as it is with a cup of tea. Or well, you, you know, I like here this 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 pan here. It's it's sections. It's sections. sections. So we sell this on our website, this gold one. And the elegant party tin. Yep. And we can do slices on here. Well, normally... No, no, no. No. I don't want two slices, I want one. This, this is Claire Clark's um, recipe yeah. that we've used. And normally it's done in a loaf tin. Yes. But I wanted to try it in the bun and it works. So yeah. I'm just saying it's good because it does give you the, um, the slices. Portion sizes. 
and you can eat it like that or you can put once it cools a little thicken up a little pack of butter I love that idea no, that anchor sounds good to me yeah. mm. you get the like crust on the outside mm. because they're keeping it fast oh, just mm. so guys let me put that there I hope you've enjoyed tonight it's been great fun it's fun Sorry. fun if nothing else <laughs> great fun it's been a proper light little baking session just like it is in your own kitchen stuff everywhere a mess a chaos but that's what it's all about so a big thank you to jackie the baking nana thank big thank you to rob allen uh they're both twitter both twitter tweeters whatever you want to call them <laughs> twits <laughs> there you go so you want to be following twitter bake along, along. Yeah. okay don't forget about the competition that we're doing if you want to make the giant cupcake or you want to make the chocolate clairs or if you want to make both if you make both, your name goes in the hat twice. If you make one, your name goes in the hat once. It's not about the best looking cupcake or the best looking eclairs. It's about giving it a go. Can and that's what that? we like if here. You can, if it, they haven't got a giant cupcake, you know, if you don't want to buy it. They do mini ones. Yeah, yeah. Mini, mini cupcakes. Absolutely. Similar idea. Make anything you want, really. As long as you follow yeah. the recipe. Yeah. But um, it's about giving it a go. It's about having fun. And it's about participating and that's what you need to do yeah. we'll do the draw next week so it will go on the website um uh, tomorrow after you've taken some pictures you can put it on tomorrow maria takes some pictures we'll put it on in the morning and then follow that facebook feed we'll put it on twitter we'll put it on instagram put your bakes on there through the week okay and then um don't forget you've got your handwritten put, note yeah your handwritten note this is so there's no cheating so you don't put one on that you did last year so you need to put twitter bake along sugar done. and crumbs yeah but this is it hasn't yeah. done sugar and crumbs and then we know it was genuinely made this week it will go in the drawer we'll draw it next week and that person can win 10 bags of flavored ice and sugar of their choice so until next week we'll see you then I hope you've enjoyed tonight. Yeah. Thank Brilliant. you, YouTube, for having us. Thank, Thank you for these, having us. Give these plenty of thumbs up, love hearts, everybody in chaos. Thank you to Maria in the kitchen. Well done, Maria. As per usual, <laughs> buzzing around like you she are. She'll be bouncing in a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Shelley, for helping out. And thank you, John, <laughs> for participating occasionally. You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be glad to have Laura back next week. <laughs> So thank you all. I look forward to seeing your bakes and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.